What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Weird the Weird Wars podcast. Was that the start for real? This no. Is, no, this is a dry pod. Said, this think. is a dry pod. Oh, we're no. gonna do a dry pod. No, 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 drink no, buddy. Yeah, no. Nah, now here we're drinking, drink. buddy. This is a dry pod, man. <clears throat> I, I need something to throw because the first time we don't said I want to throw. Did something. you order the flags? No, I told you it's been a tough week. Probably because I got. The I want the yellow. All right, we, we need to hear about this tough week because I mean you didn't do your job. Are you? What have you done this week? Uh. <sighs> Save I shot a dude pot. in the leg. You said what? what? With a gun. Who? A guy. Oh. What happened? I shot a guy in the leg. Wow. Yeah. I don't believe that. No, true story. Oh, shit. With a, bullet, a real bullet? <laughs> With a Hellcat Pro. Was it an accident? No. Oh. My nigga had a tough oh. week. No. <laughs> my say, welcome to 118, the Weird the Weird Ones right. podcast. So you just got a name of felony? <laughs> like, hopefully your life was in danger in this situation. Nah, man. I don't know. Let's go. I'm I ready. I think would have came up with a teardrop or something. Nah, I just been, really, I've been thinking of ways all week. Like, what am I going to say to Chris, man? You really been here, say it. This. Say it I now. Really have. I or really have. Or forever hold your peace. I don't think you want the regular intro? You want Mr. Rogers? Uh, Let's do like the Lindari's a winner intro. Oh, take it away, Lindari. I don't know what that intro is. That's just, on you. Uh, you know what? It's this your time. This yeah. Your it, oh, this is my time? In lieu, in lieu of your recent win. Let me see what Hold you on. got in the tank. Here, look. I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you lead off. What are you oh. playing? You playing drops? I'm... <laughs> 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 Bring us in, Lindari. Episode 118. Uh, Welcome back, Chris. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Happy to be you back. You got to introduce everybody. I do. Yo, yeah. what's up? That was no, my introduction. Okay, Keenan, Johnny, how you doing, Chris? I'm good. Yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> how was your week? This is gonna be fun. My week sucked, but I'm here. What? What happened? Shopping for all this stuff right here. Shopping the whole city, Kansas City. For Bacardi? Nah, for Monaco's Monaco. butt oh, cakes. Wait, I didn't even see those. Can you even see? Yeah, I know. I know they're there. That shit look like Tony Romo behind the line, bro. No, I stacked them up. There. I know <laughs> they're there. I know they're there. How many stores you go to? Five stores. What did you learn? What did you? Learn? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked my kids. <laughs> don't bet against what? Bet, bet, lucky. Don't man. don't bet what? Don't bet if you're lazy. <laughs> Tell him take a drink. No, it's a dry pod. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him take a drink. No, I ain't gonna take him take a drink. Let's start I'm the sorry, pod, I'm sorry. Let's start the pod. Oh man. Hold on. He's Wait. going for it. Wait a minute. Before we start the pod, let's hear it. For the people. Go Chiefs. Oh! <laughs> that hurts so bad. Oh, it cut deep. <laughs> that looked a little like strange. Surgery. All right. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to 118, the Weird the Weird Ones podcast. I go by the name of Keenan. We got Johnny in the building. What it do? We got Lindari in the building. Winner. We got Chris back in the building. God Yo, it, Chris. what's up? God, God damn it, Chris. How you feeling this week? How you fellas feeling this week? How was your week? I'm about to say, you already picked on me in hell, Happy man. to see y'all. My week's pretty great. Your week's pretty yeah, great. It's pretty great. Yeah, you know, uh... Fuck, it's been great since last Sunday, if I'm being since honest last with you. Sunday. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It must have been great, meaning that you didn't do your job. That's true, too. Yeah, That's true, too. I can live with that. But how often do you win? How often you win a bet that get doubled? How often do you... Yeah, you're right. Huh? Yeah. I'll give you some pass on that, because how often do you win a bet, and then you get to see it like this? Like, yeah. It's very rare that That's you get crazy. that kind of validation from a bet. That's and you get crazy. to look them in the eye. For like three, four hours. Yeah. <laughs> so I should have just bought the gloves and we could have squared up. Yeah, man. I don't know. I might have had to. Or oh, I, I would have. Gloves would have been cheaper than that. Who you taking? Huh? 
Discord or who? I ain't, oh, I'm for me just, for sure. Oh, I'm come just gonna keep on, going on, come on, on saying, man. bro. If, hey. if, 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 if this was me, Chris, I, I probably would have let him stack this stuff and then knocked all that shit over. <laughs> <laughs> so look, the thing is, I'm so PC. Chris put the bet out there though. I did. He did. He was the one like. And double if we 21, y'all. He did. Yeah, he I said did. pass so the sticks. So then you can't I get mad. I remember passing hey, the sticks. Confident in my squad, man. Y'all don't know me for how many years? Robbing my squad. Always. You know, it's just, I didn't know I was more I confident in them it. than I they were it. in themselves. That, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. I've been there before. So they ain't had a dog in them. They you had a dog. dog. You had the dog had in them. Dog. You the dog, mother. <laughs> you the dog, motherfucker. <laughs> had the fire in my eyes. They didn't have a fire. I knew they had no fire. What you drinking on in there? This is just some Coca Cola from Whataburger, because I'm waiting to savor these Monaco. Okay, oh, okay, okay. I just thought I asked. and I'm passing them out to people too. So like you know, that's a fact. I already comment. I might mail you a Monaco. I already drunk mine. Yeah, I might mail you a Monaco if you just you know comment. <laughs> we'll have Chris sign it or some shit. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> these limited edition Monaco's down, baby. <laughs> hey. Our 2,000 subscriber can get one of these money <laughs> Like, what's well, $3, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that click was free, though. Mm-hmm. Straight yeah. up. That's true, too. Straight and up. sign. That makes more value yeah, to it. Yeah, that click was free. All right, man. How was your week, man? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that's him. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. Um, Can't complain. I don't, I don't think it was nothing. Y'all got no stories for us? No, not this okay. week. You didn't win no Monaco bets or nothing? No, I just, you know. Came in and got a Monaco. I want to bet too, though. Because Oprah was. Can we talk about my bet? Uh, Oprah was giving them out. Uh, uh, Lopra. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk about the bet that I won. What bet? The Bills Chiefs. Don't nobody give a fuck about that little ass bet, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it don't stand. They were waiting. <laughs> so you brought them last week, knowing I wasn't going to be here. You still brought he them. Did. I bought them he because we got to pay week. the following week. And I that's said, true. if I don't pay the following week, it's double. Stand up. Whether he's here or not, that it's is. Not, that's, that's, a real, that's a real one. Right that is there. a real. Because I could see if he hadn't, if he had to brought him this week, you'd be like, "Nah, you're supposed to bring him yeah, last week. You, right. you owe me that." I know how he think. Yeah. Because I knew he was going to lose his bet. And I said he's going to be looking for any way to just know to save some pride. Yeah. So I say, gonna give him no outs. I hold you to the same standards you hold me to. So. I'm never going to lose a bet like this. I, I root for a good team. So, just so, know that. A good team that lost, and I won because of. We didn't lose shit, but our luggage on the flight back. That's it. <laughs> Dang it. That's hard out here, man. You know, it's hard out here for a simp. Betting these Monaco's with a real pimp. <laughs> man, start the goddamn man. Man. The pot is already man. going man. <laughs> This one is out of control Alright man Where much. we starting at You want to talk about Kanye I mean we can All right, I you mean, every, take, Everybody else is Take it away I You know I don't really watch It's their movie Kanye. Uh, well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to take it away Because I didn't see the whole Drink Champs interview I didn't see the whole uh, thing too well, you I said mean, that like you was into it uh, What did I say The Drink Champs interview I did. He sent you the did. whole interview. You sent the whole interview. Yeah. Oh well. I guess she was drinking Monaco's this week, huh? I this was actually been. two weeks ago. Yeah. So, I must have sent it earlier in the week, just thinking. I, you sent it. No, the I, day I, it came I, out, but it was no. That two wasn't. Weeks ago. That wasn't. No, because I didn't see that one. I, this is one I found on YouTube that somebody else u- uploaded. Bro. So, but I sent it earlier this All week. Right, well, we just that, gonna move past it. We ain't gonna place no. Thinking that it was gonna be on the Darius topic list if he had to do his job. Okay, so basically, hold on, man. Champs. Why everybody keep saying if I would have did my job and shit? Yeah, do we have topics? That is your job. Are we talking about a topic now? You have one job, barely. And you, didn't you know do what? It. I, I'm about to drink a Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. So what? I don't know. I was just gonna say Kanye was on Drink Champs, and what he say? He said that George Floyd deserved to die because he was no, high fentanyl. fentanyl. Mm. Was this before or after the uh, White Lives Matter shirt? Because we talked about this that. This was after. Because okay. he talked about it. It's only like a few days after. So he on yeah. a fucking run then. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, okay. It was like a few days after. George Floyd's family is suing him, actually, too. Yeah. 250. 250. 250? 250 million? Yeah. 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 That ain't going to win. I don't know. That they should definitely get something. But they saying that. Sure. So it's this like YouTube channel that I don't necessarily follow, but it's always on my feed. I don't even know the name of it. But he was like a big Kanye supporter, even still. He's like, it's hard to believe that the Floyd family is suing Kanye for more than they sued the whole police department for. You know what? Now, I, I will stand up with that dude. Like, that is true. Like, what the fuck is that about? I don't know. It just is what it is. Because that's like some real host shit, if you ask me. So did Kanye say he deserved to die, or that's Kanye why he died? Said, basically, what Kanye said was... Not that either matters, but still. I, the cop did not kill him. 
Okay. That yeah, was the yeah. gist of his statements. Yeah. He was like, his you can look at the video. His knee is not even on his neck. I'm like, I can't. He said he died because he had a fit on his system. I don't know what the fuck video he was looking at, Kanye. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, are both kind of true, though? What? Like, I mean, he might have had fentanyl in his system, but, I mean, you still put your knee on somebody's neck and choke them out. Like, yeah, they I don't think they too. found fentanyl in his system, though. They found a bunch of drugs in his system. I don't think it was fentanyl, though. Right? I mean, I don't know if it was 100% fentanyl, but, I mean, yeah. I'm saying, like, what Kanye said, even though it's some bullshit, like, yeah, he wasn't just walking around and fell over and died. They put the man on the ground, yeah. put their knee on him, and that's what led to his death. So what you said was bullshit. But the fact does, it is there that, yeah, he did have other drugs in his system. So, but that's not what killed him, yeah, Kanye. Like, so it's like so, one of those things like, yeah, that's technically true, but that's not what killed him, Kanye. Right. So you should watch what you say about that shit. Right. And then them suing for $250 million, that is bullshit. I just be like, hey, it's just a number. But you got to shoot high because yeah, if they give you less... Then you're still getting a lot. Because I'm pretty sure that they tried to sue that police department for more, and then they settled out. Like, yeah, yeah this I is bet the they didn't start at 250. I bet they did. I don't think so, man. I feel like I feel like that would have been like leading the news, like Floyd family suing for 250 million dollars. I don't even think it was a. They disclosed the number that they came out with, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't. They didn't. What from the police department? They didn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they disclosed that number, but I bet you it was up there. I bet you they was higher than 250. They, I mean, I don't think Kanye's going to lose a lawsuit to them for $250 million, so it don't matter anyway. But, but if, if he, he do, did. he going he gonna to be busted, big boy, because he done lost. His net worth went from $2 billion to $400 million after Adidas pulled Seriously? out. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Adidas dropped him. Gap dropped him. Balenciaga dropped him. Some acting agency that had a doc dropped him. CAA or something been going like that. bad for Ye the well, last week. A, well, so they did, they did all that because they said he made like some anti-Semitic comments or some shit like that. Yeah, when he was talking about the Jews. It's uh, it's going to be a garage sale at Kanye West's house. Nah, Get some good stuff. Fuck that way. He been saying bullshit for years. And all yeah. them, you know, they still by made their money. Why did he yeah. drop him now? That's what I think I, I think because he challenged yeah. him to cancel him. I think he just felt like. That's what I was on though. He yeah. couldn't, he couldn't. Whatever he said, it didn't matter because he was making them so much money. They they can't afford it. He's still to making them so much yeah. money though. They could drop a new pair of Yeezys tomorrow. They stopped production and no, the sales be, after that. But it said oh, they, yeah. Adidas didn't drop them. Yeah, and they dropped a new pair the next day after the trip. It would have been crazy. Been crazy. They, so he still could have make could make y'all tons of money. So mm-hmm. you know, so what's what changed now? Because like when he said slavery was a choice, y'all was like shit. New pair of Yeezys. And so, what's the name got fired behind that whole said, uh, shit? When they said, uh, when he said, you know what I'm saying, when he's on stage breaking down about almost aborting his daughter, new pair of Yeezys and some sweatshirts with holes in them. Put that shit out there. Yeah. I think the thing with that, though, like I saw yeah. somebody leave, uh, someone put a comment out there that was like, oh, when he said shit about black people, you know, nobody canceled him and shit like that. And then, uh, what the fuck was I looking at? But somebody left a comment and it was like just a screenshot of one of her pictures. It was like, but she bought his Yeezys. Uh, so yeah. I think that's that's the reason why it happened like that. You know, they say like, oh, he said this about black people. He talked about aborting babies and this and that. But those same people that said they were like so outraged by that are the same people that go and buy those fucking space looking shoes. Yep. So yeah, they like, well, what, what do you want to do? You mad? Yeah, that's why you, I look at you it. Lined up for his shoes. Like, I, have, I, I don't have a pair that's, of Yeezys. Me neither. I, would, I don't. But if you, I'm telling you, if you go on Facebook and you just look at like people you know that leave comments about this stuff. The same people you see leaving comments be the same people that be like, yeah, just got these new Yeezys. So no, they're not going to drop them from that. But now he says something else where that demographic's like, well, we, we won't fuck with you. We won't fuck with anybody that supports you. We won't fuck with a store that sell your shit. None of that. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, wait a minute now. Hold up. You went too far, Kanye. Yeah. Especially you saying like it's our fault. Mo- yeah, some of it is. Because when he said that slavery was a choice, if our culture would have said, we're not fucking with Kanye, we're not buying those Yeezys, none of that, I guarantee you, Diaz would have been like, look, dude, you got to go. And that's like, kind of what happened with this instance with yeah. George Floyd. They were like, oh, no. Nah. And then the White Lives Matter, too, is kind of like, oh, no, nah, this is too yeah, much. His, his, too his much. partnership was under review, but no, well, I don't know. It's, and it's, that's why, he uh, said somewhere, it was like, okay, now there's another demographic. Like, well, look, we're not fucking with you. To now, these people are like, well, damn, Kanye, now you got a lot of people mad that ain't fucking with us. Fuck the Yeezys. They ain't even buying the old school stands no more. So we got to cut you. And that's mm-hmm. why Noriega was like, I got to take the episode down. 
Yeah, because yeah, he, he had so him. much backlash from well, it. You thought your phone was blowing up. Yeah. He I saw a couple of clips, but no, yeah, he was on Dream Champs. Yeah. He apologized on Dream Champs. He apologized on The Breakfast Club. Yeah. No, was, yeah, Breakfast Club. That's what I meant. He apologized but, on Breakfast Dream Champs. That's they what said, he was going for. I don't know why he apologized. That's what you wanted. But he was going for the controversial numbers, though. What? So you, you bought Kanye on there. What did you think he was going to say? Well, you had to know no, he was going to say some that, crazy though. shit, though. He, he explained that. He was like, it's just like when teams bring in, like, that bad player and be like, you know, he, we going to change him. He was like, yo, me and Kanye, he don't treat me. He don't talk like this when me and him be mm-hmm. out together. Like, when me and him be in the same room together, this ain't the Kanye that I be with. This is, when we be together, it be normal conversations, not this shit. So I brought him in, like, yeah, he might be acting a fool, but, like, he treat me my connection with different him is different, so I brought him on thinking yep. that I would nah. get that Kanye, and I got a different Kanye. No. I mean, shit happens all the time. He did that. He you ruined, brought him on. He, he said some Jeezy's, wild shit. He ruined Jeezy's episode of the barbershop or the shop too. You know, Mav didn't let that go out because he was on LeBron's pod. Uh, so, yeah. so I didn't see that one. Yeah, the I don't think you bring on, on Kanye and be like, he ain't gonna say nothing crazy. And then when he starts saying crazy shit, you don't try to redirect the conversation. You just like, oh shit, this shit taking a turn. It's crazy because like it comes. It comes like right after he says some brilliant shit, and then it just takes a sharp turn. You just gotta, I don't know, man. If you Nori, you like, yo, I brought this man on here to to do what he do. It's Nori. Obviously, he's not the mediator in these conversations. He like, yo, I bring him on here and let him do what they do. Same with Irv Gotti. Same with everybody else he's had on that show. He ain't cutting people off. He like, yo, this is what this the whole point of this platform. Honestly, yeah, but he don't have a problem with it until it's like, yo, nigga. You about to be canceled out here. That's what I'm way. saying. I feel like when it gets to that, like Irv Gotti, mm-hmm. that shit he was talking, you like, okay, <clears throat> this shit happens, so I'm not going to cut you off or nothing like that. But like, you know when somebody go too far and as the host of that show, you know, Nori Ace got to be like, whoa, hold on, man. Let's just, let's just redirect and do something different here because now we going down a road where if you, if I'm your homie, I'm going to stop you from digging right now. But shit, it don't, it don't matter. Like, like when he's, when he's in his interviews, bro. Did you watch it? He's going to. I watch clips, not the whole thing. I got an hour into like, it. If you watch it, though. You saw like, the, this you watched nigga, the whole thing? I watched probably 90% of it yeah. before I was just like, yo, bro, I, I can't really watch it because I can't follow him. Like if you watch it full through, not just the clips, like most of the time it just seemed like he was rambling. I told y'all. He I goes off on these. He go off on these tangents. Like, he starts naming names. Stuff, yeah, like a lot of the stuff he was saying, like it would, and it would just be, it would be continual. Like Nori, it's I'm sh- like sure it's moments in there where Nori ain't said a, a word in like ten minutes because he just be talking. Because Kanye take he just controls it and he's just. And, but this is the same. But he's person. like rambling though, like for real. But this is the same person that that always said in his music, like you can't control me. So like he's he's literally living out what he's been saying. Like I don't nah. can't nobody control me. I'm gonna do and say whatever I want. Nah. But then I don't know, man. Because a lot of it, some of it, it, it it all ain't crazy. Some of it I agree with. I'm not gonna it lie. All ain't like, crazy. Not you know the George Floyd stuff or the anti-Semitic stuff and things like that. But like when you get on the stuff between him and Pete Davidson for say, yeah, you know, what I'm saying in that interview he mentions like she's got this heroin addict around my kids. And he tattooed my kid's name on his body, which he did. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah. you tell is me that's... It, is he a heroin addict, though? I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's that's a, what I'm saying. It's kind of like Charleston White. You say one thing that's true, but then you throw a bunch of more shit in there. It's like, wait, hold on. Like, I don't he know. Did, have a, did he have a substance abuse problem, or was it just... I don't know enough about Pete Davidson Pete to say whether that's true or not. But I'm like, but if... And, and they're in their, you know what I'm saying, interaction with each other. If, that, if this is what he believes to be true, then I'm like, I get that. I understand that completely. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? But it's just when you go off on the other stuff, I'm like, I don't have no idea what the hell you're talking about, Kanye. Yeah, when he's in there naming them people behind the doors that we know nothing about. And, and then my oh, nigga it's said, this guy's fault and that's guy's I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like, he started talking. Man, I, was, I, I think I was sitting here playing 2K listening to it. So Thank I'm you, not Chris. 100% engaged, but I'm listening. But, like, it was a point where he was like, George Floyd and Virgil look exactly alike. So yeah. he was like the Vir- like. You know what I'm I saying? Didn't, he I was making understand. like comparisons. Yeah, he was like, he was like, like who do you the think that reminded people? me of? Yeah, Virgin. I'm like, I was like, I don't know what the hell you talking about, yay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so it was, it, it was, it was a weird interview anyway. So then, are you upset at Noriega for putting this out and allowing this on his platform? Well, or Nori said he put this? the wrong one out. But of course, you're gonna say that, right? What he said he so he nah, said that yeah. he edited the. 
video to where he took a lot of stuff out, oh, yeah, but then he uploaded that, yeah. the wrong one. And I'm like, nigga. Nah, I ain't trying to get I don't, that. I think you just well, say that. So that's what I'm saying. Even though I don't, Noriega, I don't even believe Noriega's the one editing the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, think, I'm about to say, on, that's yeah. what I'm going to say. Like, I'm pretty sure you're not editing in your video. No. But it's still, even like, though. We the only niggas out here. Even though Noriega did video. Even though Noriega didn't say this or necessarily agree with it, you still upset at him for releasing it. I'm not upset at him for releasing it. Nori That's kind of like us My, if we have someone on this podcast and they come here and talk crazy. We've had that. No. And we just be like, yo, it is what Well, it we is. haven't had anything, not that anything crazy, like that. Not that crazy. We don't know people on <laughs> so, that level either, though. That's like, true. We don't know niggas as billionaires that can come in here and just ramble about the, I know Clark the Hunt. system and then they do what they do. You, you know gonna bring them in? Yeah. But, I mean, for... For a podcast, for podcasters, you know what I'm saying? You bring on guests looking for that moment. Like, that's the whole reason. That, we that's brought, my thing. I feel we, like we you're in body mode looking for that moment. That's the, the whole moment reason. Was just too big. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's the reason we numbers. bring. Yeah. We like, yo, let's do a collab with whoever. Let's bring Carrington on. That's, let's bring Jimmy back. Let's bring. Shock numbers. You know what I'm saying? You bring back the people. You be like, yo, let's do that. Because we, you, I mean, no matter what anybody at this in this room say, like, you you look at the numbers. You be like, yo, this one is a. This one of them ones, you know what I'm saying? So, Nori's like, yo, we good. We like top three, top four in the podcast game. Mm-hmm. We bring Ye on. I mean, we we going up. He, he he started the interview the last time we had this brother on. Our numbers went through yeah, the roof. We, we going up. And I'm like, nigga, you got good numbers as it is. So, but through you the ain't roof. never good enough. No, so let me I ask y'all this that. though: Is there a difference between we want to bring on great guests and then like exploiting somebody like Kanye? Because I feel like I said before. I don't care if Kanye say he got a mental issue. Fuck you. You said what you said. But also on the other end of the spectrum, I do kind of look at the people who I feel like are exploiting it right now. Like Noriega, bring him on the podcast. You know what the fuck he's going to say. He's not going to say anything that helps his case right now. And but that's he, coming off the heels. That was, Noriega, think, that was Noriega's point, though, that I was saying earlier. He like, yo, when we talk, it don't be like that. And you got to think he was brought to Noriega. To, it was he was brought to Dream Champs after the, the episode of The Shop didn't come out. So now you got to think, Whatever he was trying to say on there, he's still trying to get the shit out. Yeah. You know, what I'm that's saying? what like, I, feel, I feel like you, Noriega. You might say, you know, I me and him talk. Him. You know, no cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, I was getting thirsty. <laughs> Noriega might say, when me and Kanye talk, it'd be on some regular shit, right? Okay, but you know, you, you gotta know in the back of your mind, hey, if I bring Kanye, like, on this all podcast, you thinking is like it's the potential of him to spaz out like that. But you'd be like, yeah, hey, but what's that? What's the potential? Like sixty percent, eighty percent, ninety percent. And, then, and, then, with it. and then you know they're having conversations beforehand, and he still come out there and do this type of shit. So I mean, like it's whatever, whatever. He, that, and that's the thing, though, because he said that he was like, "Yo, before we turned them cameras on, this was not the nigga I was talking to." Yes, <laughs> he was like, "Before we turned the so, cameras on, it was the normal." Guy. Alleged, he's trying to get this shit out of there. Yeah. I don't know if the medicine wears off or what's going on. I just feel like Kanye's clearly going through some mental type situation. And the fact that people are bringing him on their shows and shit, I just probably wouldn't do it. So do you think... I can agree with that. Now, I mean, know. especially like... Now, if Kanye called us and said, hey, I want to come on the pod. That nigga's here tomorrow. Yeah, you can say what the fuck <laughs> you want. Yeah, it's special <laughs> edition. That but nigga's special edition. We not, whatever we're not drink champs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> say whatever you want. I'll try to clean that shit up later. You know what I'm saying? Whenever that nigga want to come. I'm like, you, you want to talk, nigga. You want to get yeah. some shit out, nigga. Sit right here, my boy. Is, <laughs> we, right will, here. We, we will let this thing roll all night. <laughs> like, facts, facts. Like, you can talk to tomorrow if you want to. I, I, I'll leave it running while I sleep, bro. I'll plug the charger a, up. A, Kanye, 24 if you want to come, pod if, for, if you come awareness. over here. Oh, shout out to the new fucking stand we got, didn't <laughs> That's your oh, stand. That's the all. Oh, I thought it was like the Hella other way. broke, too. You just can't tell because <laughs> I keep shit together around here. I would understand, though, if Kanye but went on like you, a smaller platform. If you wanted to that. come to the Weird Ones podcast, we would welcome you with open arms. And I would understand. Like, you know, we're not drink champs, but nah. once you that big and you established, you're going to be like after you that, got though. an obligation. You know what I'm saying? To not just the people that watch your podcast, but to the people you bring on. Yeah. Do you think it's over for Kanye? No. no, no, he still he, he still, probably still make good music, dude. Is people in this yeah. world that don't think nothing's wrong with Kanye right now, oh. like nothing wrong with what he said or nothing wrong nothing with what he's Period. Like they is people in this world that are like, yo, Kanye is out here telling the truth. I can tell you now, like I did like one psychology class freshman year. That motherfucker's cuckoo for Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just know. I know. I haven't <laughs> asked him. Right I, I'm, I'm not, like, it's <laughs> people that I'm close to. I haven't asked him yet. I want. I, Today I was ready to get up out of here, so I ain't really had time. It wasn't on my mind anyway. But I'm gonna ask him, like, how do y'all feel? Because I know 
they're gonna be like, man, he just just being a genius. When Darius like, I'm not a doctor, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's like this: if you are a Kanye fan, right, and you seen Kanye from the start, <laughs> this dude dread these steps too. <laughs> I'm gonna take two this time. Yeah, you might. Day. Yeah, I told you take long sips. Go chief. My boy, like. Nah, one of the go chief. But like, go if you've been following Kanye for a long time, you clearly see like this ain't just like an artist changing and maturing. It's like, yo, this ain't even the same guy. Like something's clearly not right. Well, no. yeah, you. I don't know. You know, it's not the same guy. I don't even know if you really need all these. Um, situations that happen before you realize it's not the same guy he don't when i listened to kanye's music back when i was like stop listening to kanye music i was like this ain't the dude that i know this well, ain't the college dropout guy that i know but but so here's my thing like an artist can they can do music one way and then it, it can just change over the years but the message don't really change i feel like the person don't change i'd be like, like it went from you know saying my me and my grand my grandpa and my mom's wearing sit-ins to, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To slavery was a choice. Like that's that that, that was like I could never literally never, contradict he's, he's never put that on wax. Though. I could never what? imagine college Slavery's dropout Kanye. It's recorded him saying it. No, I'm talking about it's not in his music though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, for you to make that music saying like you've been through this, you know, your grandpa was part yeah, of the civil I mean, rights just movement. Did it on the dream champ. All of that. Yeah. For you to live through that and then say in, in any retort that slavery was a choice, like, dude, that's not the same thing. Thought process right there. No, I feel like there's not. two different those people. Things, yeah, those it's things not, don't don't. I, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, because anybody who watched their relatives, especially you talking about your grandparents, that that's close. I can see if you're saying like like my great great grandma that I never met, and she, you know she died in the 30s. Blah blah blah. You never met her. She going through some things, but your grandpa, you have a relationship with him. You you this your man's yeah you know i know i don't know how y'all feel about your grandparents but like my grandpa and my grandma's those are because you get those benefits that you don't get from your parents from your grandparents you know they show you a little different love yeah, you get a, definitely you get yep. a few more inches you know what i'm saying they, they show so you that you going a, home after we done with this little right so it's a different <laughs> vibe there so you know what I'm saying if you've been through you've seen somebody that you got that type of love for and you care about like that go through the struggle but then later on be like you know their ancestors well, they made the choice to be like you, it don't align. Yeah. That shit don't align. Like they looked at the benefits. Was like, nope, we want slavery. Yeah, like so when I look, so when I hear him say that, I'm like, oh no, this is not the same person. No, you know what I'm saying. I think he thought about it the wrong way and said it the wrong way. I I, I don't know. I just <laughs> look at the this thing. About it. <laughs> like, I don't like, even know. I, I think I think he I think he was trying to say like they could have. So I, I've heard up. this before. I've heard this before. Yeah, like I they should have been, was, they should have rebelled. That's what I think he was trying to but say. Bro, so you don't they have they resources. Have, wait, you don't they have did have slave rebellions. Like Kanye just Turner. need to read. Yeah, he just need to read. I a think he more. watched Django and wanted some shit like that to happen. The thing is, God, they did yeah. though. Matt Turner, like it's yeah, a movie they, about they had slave rebellions. Yeah, but I'm just saying that he just thought that it was going to end it. They came in and put him down and then killed like they didn't have the resources. is the problem. I understand why they didn't do it. I'm just saying what I think he was trying to say. No, I, yeah, I don't even see. It's hard to tell somebody to do something that they don't know is like possible yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I say Ken, just go to. If, if they say, "Hey, we going to the moon," nobody's ever been to the moon. People are like, "How the fuck are we gonna get to the moon?" They've never seen it, but now that we've been to the moon, if they come back and ask to say we going to the moon, everybody's like, "Cool." Right. So it's hard to tell. Like, hey, slaves should have just rebelled. It was slaves that never didn't know nothing about rebellion. They knew like I can run away. They knew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm mean, like they were they were hindered by everything though. Like they just, like I just keep saying that they didn't have the resources. Like they were physically maybe able to do it, but they didn't have the mentality to do it. They didn't right. have the they were broken. I can beat this little frail white guy. It up. wasn't even that was though. It was like you like can't that. rebel against the entire fucking country. Right. You're like, yeah, we on this one you. plantation. We can rebel and we can overtake this guy right here, right? But why then is this what? guy? Why are you? I'm not at pointing me? at you. I'm just you saying. You are pointing at me. Not you. Listen, <laughs> Monaco loser. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. The same like we can overtake this one. You know, we can overtake this plantation. I, I understand. But then what? Like that's what Kanye's not thinking. Then what we're gonna do? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole county. He only it's a had state. A, the front thought. You know he didn't think on the back end. Of how, how you do it multiple times over. So and that's what. So I, since all of this happened, that in that situation has come back on social media. 
I don't know. Is that dude's name? What's that dude's name from TMZ? Van Lathan. Van Lathan. Van Lathan. See, mm-hmm. I gave him advantage. Uh, I don't want to say it. Huh? Nah. Oh. Tall dude. Tall dude with like a regular haircut. Mm. He's bald. But, is he bald? Just like same situation you got. Okay. Bald with a beard. But he was like, yeah, he, he basically said <laughs> the same thing I said. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. It's like two was, different. Per- I don't. Under, I don't recognize what you're saying because he I don't was fired understand behind it. that shit too. Because he stood up to Kanye, and that's that thing though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why? Why'd y'all fire this man? But I don't know. The, I think they had no reason to fire that man because he will, he put Kanye. He was speaking on our behalf. He and just put, checked him. That's and, all. And put Kanye in his place. It was like Kanye, yeah, you fucked up. You like, fucking like, up right like, now. Is it checking somebody up? You just tell them the truth. Like, oh, actually, let me just tell you the truth, man. But nah, he the, checked. Him. But like, when you I check somebody, you tell them the seen, truth. Like, he literally checked this dude. Like, dog, like I can't even. He said, "I'm appalled." Like, I'm nigga, yeah, like yeah. he didn't he even call me. He said, bro. "I'm appalled." At I used you, to hurl with your fucking album. Yeah. Hey, he I got to say that. Hey, watch he it. Basically I, said that. I learned a new word this week. <laughs> this week, nigga, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to use it. <laughs> so you know, I just feel like I don't know. Kanye's clearly off his rocker. I in can, my opinion. And I can agree with that. So I, if I've you keep putting him on your shows and doing all that shit, I you're feel taking like a, you're taking, you're taking a advantage chance. of the dude. You're and, you're exploiting it. and you are taking advantage of him. That, I can agree I with all about. of that. I can agree with that. So Noriega, I feel like you but try to like take you advantage. Said, though, it's like size. The size of it matters, though. Like, Nori, you don't need to take advantage of Kanye. You can put any artist on there and your Drink Champs episode yeah, is going to yeah. be fine. But then, you know, you'll find a little nigga like us. Like, Kanye, do your thing. So we we will like exploit he, Kanye. Yeah. Kanye. <laughs> but, but then I just feel like that gives you a chance to speak up your opinion on the issue. Like Kanye says that you need to combat him about that. Yeah. That's but, true. So look, but like I, dude, like Kanye, like say Kanye, that's not right. That's not what happened. You know, I would, I would. That's what I would I say. I agree with. Even somebody sitting next to me, white man yeah. over here. I'm just saying, if somebody <laughs> come on this podcast sitting next to me, I'm gonna be like, no, that's wrong. You know? I think, and that's the problem that people have with Nori, and he's like, I'll put up the wrong episode. Like, nah. If somebody come on your podcast and they just start saying some blatantly false shit, I feel like it's up to you to be like, wait a minute. That's not, That's true. not true. It's yeah. up to That's you on your platform. Or like, who to told you that? Somebody. Why, why do you believe that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's your job. I mean, you can have, you, I think anybody can have also, their opinion, but this is my opinion. Can't have situation. your own facts, though. That's, that's true. It's like, I feel like that's also we, we something we take for granted here. It's like, you know, we. Even the people we bring on, like we close enough to them, to we be like, nigga, what? That sound crazy. You sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? To where? But that's that's like Kanye and Noriega. They said they close like you would that. Think. Exactly. You would so think. he should be able to call them out. Like, yeah. hey, you bringing this craziness on my platform? I'm gonna call you out about yeah, it. Yeah, you just gotta be like, whoa. Yeah. What? Like most of the time, that's all I take is whoa. He be like, yeah, you right, my bad. <laughs> but Nori was sitting there like. Lighting another cigar or whatever. Yeah, like shit. Just let them yeah, know. Exactly. Yeah. Thinking his head, running the numbers up. Just, only, like, oh yeah, you cooking. It's only one person <laughs> that can stop this, man. It's only one person that can stop this, and she ain't here. Who? Donda. His mama? Donda. Man, I said that, that too. Donda. I said that too. She, man, if you watch that 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 thing, she she put him in place. Whenever he was getting out of line, like like Kanye really ain't. Doing nothing new. It's just on a bigger fucking scale. He's always been kind of off. Looking nah, at that footage. Think, looking uh, at that footage. He's 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 always yeah. had something so off I about him. I haven't watched that yet. That footage is it's they documented from college drop before college dropout up until now. So mm. this ain't this ain't nothing new by by Kanye. He's just I don't know. It's on a different magnitude. Drugs got involved. Well, he's or a whatever. certain level too, though. Like, but that's true. But I'm mean? just saying, drugs got involved. You call him a dopey or what? I, I'm just saying, whatever was going, whatever has been going on with him mentally is heightened now. Like, well, he's, I mean, he's you can't just be throwing it out there like drugs got involved and shit. I mean, he said he's been in je- in, in hospitals for drugs and shit. I didn't, that's drugs. what I'm saying. I didn't know. That's why I'm, I'm asking. Okay, I'm a fan. I listen to his music. He said he's done drugs. Okay, oh, I just don't I want us to get sick. I didn't know that. I didn't you turned him into a crackhead. I thought, you know, like the most he probably did was weed. Oh, I think it's more than weed. Oh, he on that boy? Could be. No, <laughs> the, not that boy. Maybe that girl. Oh, okay. But it's crazy, though, because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Why girl? Christina Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said it like it's it's weird because he doesn't say this type of stuff in his music. It's like his music is different His music, what he believes. Like, his music is... Or what he says. It's not randomly. pure, but like he... He doesn't go. He doesn't veer off into this type of shit in his music. Kanye might get because I do. I like his music. Song. I say mm-hmm. bipolar all, already. Yeah, he, I, clearly that I was on one of his it. fucking album covers. What was the bipolar shit? Well, he's a, it's already been like proven that he's like bipolar. Uh, I'm telling you, the, I took on one class and I could have diagnosed that. And he, well, my 
Next topic. Medical expert wife says <laughs> is that he's off his meds. That's a doctor. She's not a doctor. Bro. What uh? Hated a holiday in. What my street degree says off. He's off his fucking rock. He wrote it on his album cover. Yay! I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. So <laughs> that's like that a bipolar like thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we gonna go fuck Kanye? And move on. Yeah, I want to say something nice. Well, not fuck Kanye. Get better. And when you drop college dropout too. <laughs> I'll no. be here for you. <laughs> no. Now, if he came with a college dropout too, yeah, you back. That was some fire. You back through the wire part two. Like I'm not saying I, I never left like that. I'm just saying like I don't rock with you when you're doing this crazy shit, and I don't rock with the people trying to exploit you while you're doing this crazy shit. Yeah, let's end, it on, let's end it on that. All right, so let's move on. A dad refused to walk his daughter down the aisle because he's a hate motherfucker. As she's married, her, what? Wait. Yeah, now. <laughs> that ain't hating, that. Karma. A dad's refusing to walk his daughter down the aisle on her wedding day because he's upset her relationship is allegedly the product of an affair with the man her that his sister was with. Okay, I see what's going on. So basically, the sister and this guy was together. got a lot of reaction. I'm like, shit. The sister and the guy was together, and allegedly... The sister stole him from the other sister, and now they got married. Allegedly, sister one was with this guy. Yep. Sister two had an affair with the guy. Sister one moved on, got married, and had a kid by another guy. Now sister two is about to marry this guy, and the dad says he's not going to walk her down the aisle. Mm. Is sister one in, in the wedding? Is that the <laughs> bridesmaid? Y'all, y'all talk it up. Let me <laughs> hey, that's, you know, that, you know <laughs> hey, that's normally toxic. they'd be like that, right? No, like, you know. be the bridesmaid. Or not the bridesmaid. Sister the maid, one, of honor, yeah. maid of honor. The best one. Sister one is not in the marriage. It says the dad no told his I'm gonna kids keep you in check. he would give him a certain amount of money for the wedding. So Can we sister get a one, no cheese counter money. on the YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> he be trying to sneak it while, ain't, while I'm reading. Like, I, I can still see. You leaning forward. It's easy to see. <laughs> I'm a man of my words. My, my nigga, didn't, my nigga didn't even acknowledge me. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we do need a Chiefs counter. That'd be pretty sweet. Repeat what you were saying, man. All right, so the dad, you either. <laughs> the dad told both his daughters he will give them a certain amount for their wedding. Sister one got married to another guy after she was cheated on. They had a kid. The dad gave her the money for the wedding, and he walked her down the aisle. Sister two is getting married. The dad said, I will give you this money for the wedding, but that's where it ends. I'm not going to be in the wedding because I don't care. So he stood up to his word. He said, I'll give you money. I gave you the money. But I don't agree with what you're doing. So he's not walking down the aisle. Call your stepfather. Sister (laughs) Sister two married who? Sister two married married the boyfriend that was cheating on her with sister two. Sister Sister one. Sister one. Well, he was cheating on sister one. He cheated on sister one with sister two. So then, sister, sister two, one's husband so was cheating on nah, sister two. Nah, nah, nah. like, they was, they was boyfriend and girlfriend. Man and woman together. Man <laughs> cheats on this woman with her sister. Okay. Now he's marrying a sister he cheated with. Okay. That's kind of cold. Okay. I got cold. two questions. So the sister says she's upset. You guys are belittling their long term relationship and holding something against him that happened years ago. Mm. Got People two, change. Got two questions. Mm-hmm. Were they twins? They don't say. They don't say. All right. It don't say that they were twins. And the second one's not a question. It's more of a statement. Sister Two must got that fire. She a rocket. She <laughs> rocking his bed. You already know that. Fire. I already said before the pot. I, I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? No, you got to dart it down the aisle. So what do you think? You Rare, don't have to. What do you think? Wherever one would do if you was with Vanessa and then you switched over to Angela? Mm, mm. Uh, high five, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I heard news that she was with your Gotti for real now. Angela, you got to speak it into existence, my boy. Look, bow wow to Yo Gotti. <laughs> Here's the thing: you got to walk her down. Why are you not walking her down the aisle? Because he, I mean, he doesn't agree with the situation. So did the sister? So you don't agree with their marriage, basically. So did that's the, so then basically from this point forward, you're not fucking with them. Whatever the case, because that's basically what you said. It's like from this point forward in your life, I'm not fucking with you, them grandkids, nobody. Did the sisters have a falling out behind this? Of course they had a falling yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying, did it rip the family apart? Like, they can't come to Thanksgiving together because... I'm, I'm betting it ain't peachy cream. It's, it's a problem. Yeah. It's a problem. Hey, okay. Well, women, I can understand that. Women equal drama. Well, all right. Boy, this boy going for it, ain't he? <laughs> all right. Damn, the Monaco. Right. Let's go, Kanye. <laughs> all right. We all know algebra. <laughs> That's your equation. That's an X and a Y right there, my boy. <laughs> you, seen that, you, seen that, you seen that white dude on, on Instagram? He got that graph up there. If you keep fucking around, you gonna find out. You gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. 
I understand if the sister say, I'm not fucking with y'all with. But as the parent, you got to be a neutral party. You got to be Switzerland. Oh, you don't. You do. You don't. Yeah, you do. You now, can be now, like, no. I, so, as a parent, you can be like, I don't agree with what you're doing, too. So let's, you don't let's, have to agree. Let's, let's, but let's, let's bring this to If they were your... doing crack, you can say, I don't agree. They're not doing crack or no. You just say, I don't agree with the choice of man. You so let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's put this in perspective of you having your daughters there. Yeah. Say this happens with your daughters. Are you going to tell uh, daughter two, hey, that was fucked up? Yeah. Blah, 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 I'm or... like, that's fucked up. Y'all family is supposed to be burying that. But at the same time, I'm Switzerland. You don't care. No, I, 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 I care, cool. but it's what my is, job to try to keep bringing y'all together, not to help keep y'all apart. What mm-hmm. does that mean? What does what mean? Why are you Switzerland? Switzerland because you got to be as a parent. Like, like, I'm, not, I'm not taking either side. Yeah. Switzerland, you never heard like Switzerland was an ally of anybody. They just handled their own business. They took that Nazi gold, though. That makes sense. Like, I tell you that. We should be. Learn something US every should day. learn to be like that. God damn, Chris. <laughs> you, you, you outrageous. <laughs> Gotta ask questions. I didn't hear what man. he said. Hey, I asked what questions. is Switzerland? I do love their uh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. And the clogs that they wear. And them, that that fucking... is not in Switzerland, with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that fucking like Holland or something. Yes, it is. And it's and definitely hot, Holland. And that hot chocolate that they make is amazing. <laughs> so, wait, Johnny, you said as a parent, you like, nah, I, I can do I'm that. I'm like, yes, I can do that, I feel. Because I don't have to have nothing to do with your wedding if I don't want to. Me giving you the money is like, you know, saying I don't even have to do that, but I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna do that. What you and, but I don't have to be like, yeah, I'm condoning this, and none of that. No, I'm not. I think, but I think because what it, it, I mean, it, you don't, you end up, you're not even Switzerland at that point. You you can you chose condone a, you chose a side. Doing. You yeah, chose a side. okay. I don't think so. No, how, how you, you indirectly choose a side when you say I'm not I walking can, you down the aisle. I can walk aisle. her down the aisle. You, how, she's though? in love. She's happy. Whatever, this is your guy. I don't condone it, but I'm still gonna walk my daughter down the aisle. Mm, I don't. Like, I don't know if you, if I don't if, know if I would or I wouldn't. I don't have okay. that situation, but I'm just but saying. If, if say he you gotta make a choice, if right he now, doesn't, right? I don't think I'm like, hey, he made a choice. Like just like she made a choice. Everybody got choices to make in this situation. You made the choice to sleep with your sister's man. I have a choice. I can make the choice not to walk you down because I don't condone it. So make it. So make a choice. That's would you saying. walk your daughter down if this was you? Mm, probably I don't know Probably I think it depends I, It on could me. be the Either only way, time You it, ever walk your daughter Yeah I'm like It could be It should be Well yeah <laughs> I mean you're hoping You're hoping this is the only right, time You get yeah. married again And y'all go into the courthouse What you talking about <laughs> I think You didn't blew the money <laughs> I think it depends on how long Between the affair Y'all get married See I don't even know If that's true either though Because if it's like, like that if don't, it's like Shit like that don't heal bro Well that's true because The that's affair true. led to y'all breaking up And that Yeah Man, That type of stuff but, don't so Y'all shit was ongoing The story says that the sister Has moved on Married another guy and So had a kid. what I'm not saying so what But here's my thing as a parent You moved on You happy But you want me as a parent To keep this grudge against your sister It ain't even my grudge to keep First yeah, off Yeah that's what I'm saying You can make your You can make your Opinion clear it, But in this instance In this instance It can be my grudge to keep Because Y'all sister shit ain't really got nothing to do with me, but I can feel a way about what my daughter did, and then I and it, it don't matter what she did. I can feel that way. Yeah, and then I can how I react to it is simply up to me. Like, if, yo, I don't, if, I don't want to walk you down your hus- down the down the aisle to your husband that you you stole from your sister. No, I, I don't want to do that. See, I don't believe you can steal somebody's husband. That's first and foremost. I mean, like, hey, what's gonna be for you? Gonna be for you. Oh, okay. Now we so get would biblical. You be, so yeah. would you be, now we get biblical. Yeah. I'm not so biblical. Would you be, look, would if that you was your mad? sister's man and he moved on, then he didn't want your fucking sister. Yeah, he could. Like I told you before we potty, he could have picked another one of the four Don't point whatever <laughs> billion women that are here in this world. Like, but it just shouldn't have been you. That's. I mean, I understand. As a parent, I'd be like, you know what? This guy's a fucking sleazeball. I really don't rock with him like that. But also, as a parent, I feel like it's my job to make my family stronger. So I can't be the parent that's sitting there with daughter number one talking shit about her sister and her I'm husband. I'm not talking shit about her sister and her husband. I ain't got to walk her down yeah. the aisle either, though. Okay. So I'm just saying, I won't sit there and talk shit with her. But also, I'm not going to be like, yo, I'm not going to shun you and your husband. Yeah. I I feel you like he saying? has the right to do that if he like, wants I'll to. Like, I'll walk daughter one down the aisle, daughter two. I'll walk you. I'll walk you down the aisle. I wish y'all nah. the best of luck in y'all marriage. I can do all of that. I'm going to say, I hope you become a better man, bro. That's what I'm on. Yeah. See, I can do all of that, but I'm like, nah. I, like I said, if it was me, I don't know. I probably would still walk her down the aisle. But in this instance, for this guy, I get it. You like, yo, fuck that. I don't want to. Obviously, you don't like what's going on, but you didn't make these choices, and you can't change their choices. 
I don't have to be a part of them. I mean, that's true. I, I, gonna, I get that right. I ain't gonna yeah. fuck with him. I'm like, this nigga. See, I, I don't get know. That right. I, don't I get that you. right. You I got, get that this, right. This nigga done took down both of my it. babies. I fuck this nigga. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Go ahead, Keenan. What, what would you do? No, it, I, I don't know. I absolutely don't know. Well, I made Johnny make a choice. What would you, what would you, make what you a choice? Johnny weaker than me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sitting here potting. What's going on? No, hey, I, I absolutely. Here making hard decisions. I absolutely, I absolutely do not know what I would do in that situation because you can, I'm going to break somebody's heart. In, I'm going to be 100% way. honest. I, I, so. I would not give no. my daughter, I would not give that man the blessing to marry my daughter. And then if y'all decide to right still there. get married. Okay. I'm definitely now out. You going that, deep that right there. I'm because definitely I'm like, out. Because I'm like, I think, I think. So if it's let's say it's, it's Tessa and Torn. Yeah. Tessa's gonna be. I'm gonna break her heart if if I walk her down. But then I'm gonna break Torn's heart if I don't walk her down. You know, it's it's gonna be fucked up. I just up. feel like you can make your opinion made. Hey, I don't, I don't. Whatever. This is what it is. I don't condone this. This, you know, I'm against this, but still can do that. Walk her down the aisle. Yeah. I mean. It is what it is. Like, and yeah. I feel like this ain't one of my like I feel like real deep about it because <laughs> yeah. you know I'm not getting excited. I'm like it is what it is, yeah. you know. But oh, that's I tough just, regardless. I just, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, this is, if this I don't is really me. I'm like I'm not blessing y'all. To, I'm not blessing this man to marry my daughter. I mean, and yeah, then they go from there. I'm like, so y'all getting married anyway? Y'all don't give a shit what I think. That's cool. I said I'll give you this money. Here you go. Do what you do with it. But what if she's I'm like, on. Dad, I'm I love this man. That's not my... No, 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 He's nah. the guy for the rest of my life. Mm-mm. I don't think you have a choice, honestly. Like, you say it's my choice. I don't have to... I think you do have to participate. You though. don't, though. For me, I'm going to say this. I don't think it's a choice because then it... Like, so what What do you do later on down the line if they have kids? You're not going to be in the kid's life because you didn't approve the marriage? Yeah. No. Once you once you go down that road, I'm you know not gonna. What I'm see, you gotta I'm, have that same energy the whole fucking road yeah, trip, and I'm not gonna don't. do that. You don't have to. I'm do not that. gonna. You do don't that. have I mean, to have that same energy. You the can't. Whole time. You, can't you can still. Change. Like, you can still. You know, what I'm saying like, yo. At some point, you got to get over it. Come. At, at some point, she got to get over me not walking her down. Somebody. This, no, I'm saying somebody got to get over whatever. Listen, happens. Hold on, hold on, John. You're not gonna lie to people. What are you saying? You you the same guy. You out here say suck my dick, and I'm trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? But, we got listen, but listen, if her pops, when y'all get married, if her pops would have said, like, I don't think you should marry this knucklehead. He ain't the man. I'm not going to participate in the wedding. You'd be like, okay, whatever. We still get married. Now, if he came back, be... if he came back later, like, give me, let me see my grandbaby, you're not going to be like, oh, here you go. You're going to be like, no. Yeah. I was a knucklehead. Right. Ride the fuck out. You're right. Exactly. So in this in this instant, you it's can't still, be the parent see, and expect that. This is that. the thing, though. It's still everybody's choices. I decided, fuck you, I'm out. And you have grandbabies, oh, let me see my grandbaby. You say no? Cool, fuck you. you I'm still out. Yeah, see, I, <laughs> and I'm I still good. That. Like, okay. Y'all been, you been Switzerland this whole time, basically. You been out there on your own. No, I'm still good over here. I'm Switzerland. My daughter, don't, my daughter don't want to have a relationship with me because I don't approve of her husband. That's no, cool, that's, too. Fuck her, too. You See, you said, oh, the way you said no, it was like, yeah, fuck play. her. But that's that how I play. play. Come to tough guy. Everybody got choices. Here but you comes. just said just she don't want to have a relationship. He nah, went fired I'm up. just now like, everybody got up. choices, dude. Like, yo. If, we don't need Kanye to come because he's already here. If I say, if I say, yo, my daughter, like, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? I don't approve of you marrying this man. You like, I'm marrying him anyway. Guess what my daughter just told me? Fuck you, Pop. I'm doing what that I want to do. That is not what she just told that you. That is though. what she just said. Bro, how do you get that in your head? So how did she happen? just say? I'm an adult, my nigga. Okay, and yeah. I can't be an adult too. At what point do my adult have to be dwindled because she's an adult? When you start infringing on her right. I'm not. So when you say I don't want you to marry this dude, what do you expect her to do? Well, you can't Not stop. You can't stop. Yeah, I marriage. can't stop him. Yeah, right? you can't I cannot. Stop him. But, but you can say you don't approve of it. He so, can't. Hold on, <laughs> y'all. Y'all expect like when you are adult and your kids are fucking grown Yo. adults to be like, I can't marry my dad. Said no. I would expect for when Journey says, "Hey, Dad, this man wants to marry me." That me and his son, me and his kid, this dude already have a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> me and this dude already this have a <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever words you want to put there, <laughs> fucking so please, already, <laughs> to already have a relationship where I'm like, yes, you can marry my daughter. I also expect for him to ask me. Yeah. yeah so that's wild shit. Yeah. So if the, uh, none of that play out right. And I'm like, nah, babe, I don't think this is the man for you. You do it anyway. 
That's what I'm saying. Cool. You think this I guy don't have to be. Him? I don't have to be involved. I'm sure, like, I don't in, have in this to be scenario, involved, I'm sure the dude was probably like, your daddy don't fuck with me. I'm not going to yeah, insult him. I don't even think he even going asked. to ask him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Now, now hold on. That's Okay, that's a different thing. But if you, you know. If you don't ask me and expect me to, I don't, that's, I, that makes look, it even I, tougher. I, I'm not married That's like part of the deal. So that whole asking thing, that's just people's tradition. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't share your tradition, tradition, just to walk your daughter down the aisle, that's just a tradition. But that's your True. daughter's tradition. It that's doesn't true. matter. It's just yeah, a tradition. And you told, but it says in here, all of this was a tradition. He told his daughter what he would do. The whole ceremony is just a tradition. No, one thing is a tradition. One's all your word. of it's a tradition. But Marriage, he, all you got to do is go to the courthouse and sign some papers. No, he said in the story, he told his daughters they were. That younger, I would pay for it. He would, and he did. No, he said he walked them too. He said, I will walk you to Let me see. He said, I will give you money. And he did. Oh, you yeah. might be right. You <laughs> might be right. Let's get our facts I offered straight. the same X, Y, Z amount to her wedding, but instead of my involvement. He I'm offered the money. Nah, he you did. Gotta you got to walk You do him, not right? have to you walk, walk him. <laughs> you don't. Like, it's just. It, I just I, it's a strange thing in my head when one adult tells another adult, like, not that this guy's hurting you or nothing like that. I don't. Like, she's right. You punishing me for shit that happened years it ago. It don't matter. It, at what point do you stop punishing her then? I, I'm not punishing her. What do you call it? You doing whatever? I don't ever have to agree with what you're doing. No, I'm saying Never. you say you're not punishing her. What do you call it? I'm not doing anything. I'm just living. What What do you call it when somebody says I'm not going to do this that you want me to do because I you did that? It call it's me being a grown up. That's not punishment. No, it's just me being a grown up. That's like yo, I don't want to move my car because you park. You can park somewhere else. Like Come I don't have on, to. Bro. You don't. I don't have so, to move my car. Nah, that's punishment, bro. It's not punishment, that's bro. Pun- if, if the miss is like, yo, we not doing nothing because you ain't doing these dishes, it's not, oh, she's been a grown-up. You're like, damn, nigga in the doghouse. She's punishing. Nigga in the doghouse. First of all, she breaking vows is what she doing. <laughs> <laughs> she is breaking point. vows. She is, she is going strictly just against though, her word. You're not going to look at it like, yo, she's just been a no. Like, no. Nah. No, she is, she is going against the covenant that we have. You're going to be down here like, yeah, I'm in a doghouse, man. <laughs> It's just, I mean, I can't even explain it no more than what I am. Like, bro, everybody make choices. You ain't gotta like it, you ain't gotta love it, but you get, you get a choice, you get to make your choice, and it is what it is. I can understand if you said I don't like this guy because he's beating on you or some shit like that. I, it can be, but any just because he's a cheater and he cheated once, like, come that's on, that's enough. Bro. No, obviously that's enough for this dad. I think that dad's just saying that to, like, you know, what I'm saying pacify the other sister though. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I do like because now you you chose a side. You can't be a parent choosing sides. You can choose a side. Unless one of your kids is a goddamn crackhead. You can choose a side. You can't be choosing sides. Yes, you can. Nah, bro. you can choose a side. That's not how it works. Yeah, you can. You gotta love all your kids equally. You can't. You can do that too. But that don't mean you I gotta love them the same. Sides. But shit, they never equal. I'm you like, can yo. love them equal though. They not equal, but you love them equal. What he said. You get to choose, bro. That's the. That's all I got for you, bro. I'm not about to get excited yeah. with you. You, you get can't to choose, do that. bro. You can choose your favorite. You can you choose your favorite. Coming off the ride. You I did. Been up there. I'm good. When your eyeballs get white and you got your hand I up. I just don't like, understand yo, what he's I'm saying not at all. But I'm like, you get to, you get to choose. That's it. All right. What did you, you say have? you was going to choose? I said I didn't know. He I said he didn't know. know. I don't know. I don't want to break you gotta my be a sleaze heart. boss sister. To, I don't, don't want to wanna break. I don't want to break my daughter's heart, sister's bro. ex. Yeah, you. That's I mean, true. that's probably some sleaze boss though. shit. That's true. You gotta be a sleaze boss sister to marry your sister's ex. You probably do, but th- as a parent, that's not my job though. My job is to like keep bringing y'all together. As a that's parent. not my job. What is your job? My then? job was to raise you to be an adult. They're adults, but that's now what's your job? Nothing. Nah, so obviously he raised a sleaze so, boss human. So once they move out, you're done. Yeah, like I'm just saying, like I don't. Just like you said, you and she an adult. Like I can't tell her what you to are, do. That's true too, but <laughs> like you can't have it both ways. I guess ways. I say that because you know you got you so many families. They do like a family event and like, oh, these people don't come because they don't get along with these people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it's somebody above them, like a, a auntie or something. That's that's her job. Is to be like, yo, y'all need to cut that bullshit out. That don't play, not, especially not in these days. Like if, uh, when it's family, it, it, when it's it family, when it's it depends family, on who said it. That's only in black you, families. I hear you, but like when it's family, see, beef, y'all like, got way worse. How I we feel got. anyway. That's nah, what I'm saying. If this was a white couple a, anyway. What are you talking that's about? What I'm saying, this but us, different our families would be like. Y'all going that side of the earth? Hey, yeah, I'm about to say this side of the earth, y'all. That's what I'm about to say. You know what I'm saying? I think it's definitely the difference between black and white there, though. Like black people, because we like. You want to be what you want to be around your family. Because you want to be people, able to. We're raised as a tribe. We we're different raised as, in that instance. You know what I'm saying? No, those like, are Indians. 
That's a fact. Yeah. But no. I like, think they like to be called Native Americans, not, bro. That's sorry. That Native is Americans. true. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to get fucking canceled. <laughs> See that, Nori? That's all you had to do with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to you wanna be like with your family. But when family beef going on, you be like, especially, I mean, shit, I know this firsthand. Like, I'd be like, yo, bro, I just stay out the way. I don't want to be in none of this shit, honestly. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Caucasians, they do shit different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They be like, they be yeah, like, yo, man. nigga, I, I don't give a shit what Uncle Jim is doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking kick rocks, nigga. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where for it's just different, bro. I mean, that's it's what my dad different. said. It was like, I only mess with y'all. I'm out of here. <laughs> I mean, shit. I feel like the, the younger people out. might be like, I stay out the way, but there's always some old aunties, uncles in there, like, yo, y'all need to fig- figure that shit See, out. See, we don't, I don't, we don't have that. That's the like, way my family. It's nobody, it's nobody older aunties to be like, y'all need to figure it out. Like, you just be like, yo, we ain't rocking. We ain't rocking. Was, we ain't rocking. Be, before my grandma and like her sisters and brothers, before they all started passing, whenever it was like some problems, we knew like, okay, that should be figured out by family union. Yeah, see, we don't. Because they're going to call each other. What What the boys mad about again? What the marriage of Wona? And it just be See, our out. stuff was different too, though. I don't know. I can just keep saying it. My God family damn, a little Kenny. bit different. Fumble the bag. Jesus, it, obviously they gonna go. It ain't gonna go at all. They don't work. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus. You thirsty, Chris? What else we bit. got? That Take is? a drink. No, don't got, don't, don't fight more. it. Don't fight it. I've been fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, usually be through uh, like two, three years. Uh, it's like the green thing, man. Don't fight it. All right. Last thing we got is a federal Inside. court ruled in favor of some Bartistas. Some city passed a law that said these. Baristas? Baristas. Bartistas, same thing. I say quietly in the background. background. He can try to sneak a drink. Hey, why my nigga looking at his phone like he reading the article? No, I was about to open it. Looking at his lock screen. I was about to open it, then he tried to reach for the drink real fast. I'm like, my nigga can see that article through that QR code. (laughs) No. But basically, uh, they were out here serving coffee and shit when, you know, in their bikinis. The city passed the rule and said they got to, you know, tone that shit down. Where was this party at? Hold on, let me find it. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Then y'all talk about it. And oh, I'm gonna find okay. it to tell you. It was some Karen that you know called in on them. Oh yeah. But the city passed a rule to make them cover up. They took it to court. The court said, "No, you can't do that shit. You can't serve coffee in a bikini." No, the court said you cannot make them cover up. It's violating their freedom of speech. They can serve coffee in a bikini or whatever drinks they serve it. I had an idea. Look at like America. That. I had an idea like America that. finally doing something right. I saw. I didn't know that they had lingerie boxing. Do yeah. they? I didn't know that. That's what channel? That's some been some woman got knocked out. That's not in lingerie. Right. Lingerie boxing. Yeah. He just, we just found out why our YouTube page looks <laughs> way look. Way <laughs> why. That's how I found it. Every time I be on there, I be I'm like, like, what are these niggas looking at? I'm like, hey. I don't even know how it got to <laughs> It ain't me. I upload and I'm out. Yeah. I'm like, I ne- the only thing I'm here for is the upload. But every time I get on here, I be like, that or if I took a screenshot wow. the other night, I was going to send it to you. I was like, you did, shit, nigga. Did I send it? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you you said that. Right. that. It was Washington State that passed this rule to make them cover up. Well, that's like the same thing. That's what we found out at uh, Everett, Washington City had a dress code ordinance that required like, cleaning like client workers to cover up. Twin Peaks and all that they hired as entertainers and not as uh, uh, servers. servers yeah. We ain't been there in a while. We haven't. No. Cold beer though. 27.6 degrees all the time. Hey, what was the temps of these Monaco's when you bought them in? They were, they were cold. They were chill. I chilled them. They didn't feel like 27. Nah. Mine was every bit of 34 degrees. That's why I was, I was leaning towards that. Probably like I 33, 35. You. No. Hmm. These don't count. You got to run that back next week. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about this story, Linda? Oh, uh, fuck it. If they want to serve coffee with their titties out, let them do it. Naked. I don't give a shit. Naked. Naked. Who, who Naked. and where? I thought you said in bikinis. They, they were in Washington. They were in Everett, Washington. No, I know, but who were they serving it to and why? It was and customers. They had a, I think it was a, it was a coffee house and they were serving coffee okay. and bikinis. All right. So just imagine being at Twin Peaks and she bring your wings to your pl- table in a bikini. In lingerie week or whatever they do that. Yeah. Yeah. They got lingerie week out there? Yeah. I never yeah. been still. Right. Three yeah. times. You been three times? <laughs> yeah. I still never been. Bro, they had never, the, they, they sent out an email at the job. Use Stop a, going to Twin Peaks for lunch. Use a what? devious what? name. What? Why? They just want coming back. I know how this goes. I know how this goes. You don't they go say, back. Hey, to- <laughs> if y'all go out for a team lunch, you cannot go to Twin Peaks. That's crazy. I think that somebody can play. Like that, feels, that feels like a, you know, they're impeding on your freedom. Yeah, a little nah, bit. I think it was like a. 
I, I, I pretty much know who it was. We had a female coworker complain. A nigga sent me a uh, mm. a she email. Going? We we got an email talking lunch, about uh, where we can go to lunch at. What time to go to lunch? I was like, nigga, I go to lunch when I goddamn feel like it. You told you said that. I continue to do that. I go to lunch when I feel like it. <laughs> I say you said that. I said beep. <laughs> <laughs> I read the email. Was like, nigga, <laughs> I ain't got no problem. If you want to serve coffee with your titties out. Of course, Dude, only people want to get those. Instead of having bikinis, bro. Well, I'm just saying, if they want to serve coffee naked, if you don't want to go get coffee from a naked woman, just go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, don't go get coffee. Yeah. Go to Starbucks. I'm not a big fan of somebody else coming up like, man, that's fucked up. They shouldn't do that. If they're not hurting nobody and they adults, serve the coffee however you fucking want to serve it. Yeah, I can agree with that. That's kind of early in the morning to be doing that, though. So for who? Shit, nigga. <laughs> like, but if you get up at seven thirty, you go get a coffee, and she come out there, top down, titties out. You got a little joke the rest of your day. Like, okay. Not only did the coffee get you going, but yeah. she got you going. Uh, <laughs> got that mm, pain like You can steer that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're like, good morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> with this dude. Uh, good, oh. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga didn't got a hook in it. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm hey. just saying, why would you care? Like, I think that's one of those things. That nigga hit the turn signal. Baka, baka. <laughs> I think that's one of those things. Like us, we so. I feel like this about our group a lot. Like it's just a lot of things in the world that don't move us. We be like, nigga, so what? Yeah. And this is like one of those things. We be like, nigga, who gives a damn? I got these bills to pay, bro. Who gonna pay these bills? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody like went. Somebody heard about this. Like they said, they serving coffee in bikinis. She was like, yeah, bitch, they serving coffee in bikinis. She's like, I gotta go see. And then she went there and she saw it. She obviously went to a city council meeting. Like, can you believe this? Yeah. Would you you look at this? Councilman said, and where is this located at? (laughs) We're going to do an investigation. (laughs) I feel like, yeah, I don't, I guess I just don't give a shit enough to care to do that type of life. Now, you make me wait in Slim Chickens for like an hour and you don't come back with my food. Oh, shit. That affects me, though. If it's an hour watching them serve in bikinis. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm I'm not. Because after a while, I've seen one titty, seen them all. I'm hungry, bitch. Right. (laughs) Bring me my pumpkin jar. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But like, just to go somewhere and be like, I don't like how they dress and then like go complain. Like, "Uh, I don't care where it is. We have the right to refuse your service, too. No, I mean. I can understand you complain, but as far as the I'm city we saying we're going to pass a law, I feel like the city, somebody at the city's got to know, like, hey, that's probably not legal. We can't, you know, we can't just put I'm a just dress saying, code on the entire fucking city. I'm not city. even going to that level. On the individual level, me personally, I'm like, nigga, I don't care. If you don't agree with it, don't go I there. don't care. Like, yeah, like, I don't care if I'm going Fuck like my, 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 <laughs> my favorite Chinese spot got dudes in there wearing Daisy Dukes. Like, yo, I just go to find me a new Chinese spot. Do they spot. though? No, I don't even have oh. a favorite Chinese spot. <laughs> I'm about right to now. say that's that's wild. That's yeah, weird. No, I don't no, have I would a, be like, well, how good is a, the food though? Yeah, or I would be like, if that bothers me though, which me me personally, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Yo, is the rice fire or not? Yeah. They're ringing the bell, ding ding, Johnny back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Hey, now that, would, now that hey. would make me feel a way though. And I'm like, Johnny Blaze here, Johnny Blaze. But if they just walk in, you walk in, they walking Daisy Deuce. They're like, hey man, I take your order. I'm like, cool, nigga. Oh, you shirt. racist to the motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, who else made Chinese rice? Nigga, anybody can. Who made Chinese rice? Where do you go buy Chinese rice from? Thai Palace. Thai Kitchen. I don't know. Street, they talk like that, too. <laughs> it, nah. It's his Hispanics that, that serve Chinese rice at Panda. Panda. That's nigga, Panda fact. don't count. That's right. That's a fact. Both of y'all can be right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I'd be like, yo, nigga. I'm just ch- saying, how can they do this? Because you can wear bikinis to a public pool. Why can't they wear bikinis here? Like you could wear bikinis walking down the street. Only where I could think if like uh, they said it was some type of food serving violation or something like that. Yeah, I don't understand that though. Yeah, but nigga, you, Other than that, you like, ain't serving on, the baby. coffee out your ass. So what is that? I matter? mean, but what if they were doing body shots of coffee? Boy, your morning just got even better, boy. <laughs> Yo, boy. Shit, you went from like you like you not going to work. You. I bet you this would be the best coffee place in the world. They can you have not, their trashiest ass coffee, but they're not be wrapped around. If they, had, <laughs> if they had like a thick one, a bad one, <laughs> doing espresso shots out her belly button. Are you calling in? Oh, no, what? I'm gonna be at work on time because I'm gonna be hyped the fuck up with three espresso shots in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm ready to get it today. <laughs> you clear the table out. Oh. Clear the table. Fox now. <laughs> <laughs> Fox now. 
Insider. Ah, man. Insider. I actually thought I actually thought about an idea kind of like this to rival Hooters. You know, Hooters got the the wings and supposedly the big titties. I thought, you know, for black women, we do something for breakfast. Call it fat cakes. You know. Are you going to put P-H-A-T cakes? P-H-A-T. Or fat cakes? P-H-A-T. Are they going to have thongs on? A little boy shorts. Oh, okay. Boy shorts? A little idea I have back in the back of my mind. Then I would I would probably, you know. I would yeah. invest Support. In some yeah. thick pancakes and a thick sir. Oh, wait, I, I mean, I don't really like really thick pancakes. I'm a thick women. Guy. Yeah, okay. But like, if you, you get give me one, a regular pancake. one thick pancake instead of a short stack. Be good nah, bro. Day. I feel like just give me the short stack. I feel like I need the surface, the browning. So just give me the short stack. Uh, get Are some. You, always a nigga. Get some stuff. Eat some fruit. I'm just saying, it's like when they get a thick ass burger patty. Like, no, nah, just give me two regular burger patties. Oh, man, give, me that, uh, give me that big boy. Yeah. <laughs> thick That's fucking burger. meatloaf on a bun, man. I don't that give a shit. Delicious. Nah, man. I need to eat five guys, huh? I just had five guys. I'm broke now because of it. You be that. <laughs> is that why you, you broke, that. Chris? You be that. Is it five that or nigga? <laughs> is that what took That's you down? True. So wait, y'all ever been somewhere and you just like, you know what? Somebody's got to do something about this. I don't care enough. Yeah. Always, I mean, honestly, if they could pass a law to get fucking slim chickens... Making that chicken faster, I yeah. definitely go. The now that faster. now that's a different story. But, but like just a, I've been mad. Like just because I walked in and she had on a plaid shirt today. No, I'm, I'm not like, saying they was wearing something. Just like any place, she was like, you know what, that shit don't belong here. You were just as long as they clean. Like I, I'm good, bro. I don't. I don't care. No. I be I be perturbed. I, I be perturbed when like the, well, the half their be... half their thing hanging out. You know, half it's what? not too clean. You half know? of what hanging and out? And they have bikinis and half their booty hanging out. That still can be clean. It could be rubbing up against like the counter where they prepare. I, I the mean, food. people say, oh, that. "Damn, how big is her ass, bro?" <laughs> Maybe she had BBL. Could still, the BBLs be so sometimes the BBLs be trash. I don't. I'm like, look, unless they out there walking across the parking lot, I can see somebody having a beef. But other than that, like, get the fuck out of here. The only thing at the restaurants just when the niggas be too high taking the orders. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> but like, like I went to McDonald's for the kids the other night, and I had the mobile order. I said I had mobile order EM three eight. My nigga said, "Huh?" I'm like, "Nigga, <laughs> you had." And he ran that out my order going and shit. On these days, boy. It's I mean, I know, help. and I know it November six is it's gonna be a little worse. You know, you know what's November six? They gonna vote to make legalize marijuana here in Missouri. Oh, you one of them? What you mean, one of them? I'm like, just saying it's, it's going to be worse. Like, they going to, like, what's going to be? Niggas, they, gonna, niggas been gonna be, smoking weed. It's going to be more high shit. You know, no, I'm not mad know. about it. I'm just like, nigga, like, pick your shit up and take my That's quarter. just the places you go to, though, man. Because, you know, people smoke weed, but I ain't never been in Chick-fil-A and they was high talking to me. Chick-fil-A don't get high, bro. They, them gods people right there. God <laughs> did. They the new crusaders. <laughs> crusaders. For sure. I, I went to Panda Express, I think, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Man, and it's the two oh, uh, co works. It was a hole is open. It was a woman and a man. They was back there making my food. They was flirting and stuff, and they forgot my sweet and sour sauce, man, because they was flirting. Bitch. Man, I fucking, was pretty upset about that. Fucking kids back there playing around, playing yeah. ki- playing grab ass and forgot my sweet and sour <laughs> sauce. <laughs> I, I don't think I, I get mad. I go somewhere, they like taking fair with my food, and I see somebody just on their phone. That, always, that pisses me off. I'll be like, yo, we need a law. Uh, it, 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 was, it, was this, it was this one time Popeye's made So wait, hold on. So wait, hold on. Hold that thought. So you are appalled by that. So you want a law to yeah. where nobody can use their phones while they're working. Not nobody, but I feel like the people at the fast food places where you're making burger and fries, if you're on your phone, I've been waiting 15 minutes. It should at least be like two days in jail. Oh, nigga, you just out of yeah. control. You just oh, out of you control. Are. How long did it take to make fries, Chris? How long would it take to put seven them fries minutes. in? Not even seven Nine minutes. Seven minutes. I don't know. They like three minutes something. Yeah. Almost four minutes. Okay. So there's never a reason I, I should be waiting 15 minutes before. for my food. I feel like I'm waiting because you on your phone yeah. and you didn't hit the button. So now, yeah, let's give them some jail time. We're not throwing them in jail for that. You just go to a different place, a different restaurant. Nah, because sometimes you can't. That Popeye's off Main Street and Grandview, it was the only one. That's all I had. You could have traveled over to 103rd. Hundred third, yeah. they they worse. That's no. a fact. <clears throat> they got some. Never mind. No, I, I've better. been to a hundred third. It's a little better now. Yeah, they must have got new because before they had that dummy in there. It's she a, couldn't even it, count chicken. It's a but it's a it's it's some Hispanic people running that one now. now. They get you in and out. I love them folks, man. Yeah, they get you in and out. Love tacos. 
Love tacos. Like, like Biden. I love. They like I mean, tacos. All of them. <laughs> this thing is crazy, bro. I mean, <laughs> he already done showed it. I'm done. I'm done, man. We know you're done. You've been he made done a, for 20 minutes. He made a baby. <laughs> True. <laughs> so we know you love him. With that love Anybody else got something? Say that. You cannot, bro. This is the most racist what? episode. We are, bro. Did. We are racist. I didn't even say nothing racist. Wait, first off, call them little tacos. Biden yeah. said that. <laughs> I didn't say nothing racist. I said you Yo love Biden. Biden said that I, shit, that's what man. I'm saying. But you saying that to what he said oh my makes you racist too. I just quoted what Joe Biden said. Nigga, man. you bobbing your head when Jay Z say nigga make you racist. Do you be bobbing your motherfucking head? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, bro? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we well, doing? Okay, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get if some I'm, order in this if I'm singing a song in my head and I say it in my head, is that racist? You said nigga. Wait, if in you say in your head, is it racist? But if I'm singing along with the song, no, no er stuff, just straight a. Okay, that in was my, my head. Thing. Are you you not racist? putting a hard er not, in your not head? Through, not through my mouth. Okay, so you thinking? My you call <laughs> Lynn Derry at the table of Mongolia's barbecue a uh, fn. <laughs> I remember. I remember this. And your mama was about to. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> I didn't know she knew what that meant. I didn't know what that meant. She probably didn't it know fuck so fast. She probably didn't know it was fuck nigga, but she probably thought you used to call him a fucking nigger. Oh. Johnny got your words of wisdom for your week. <laughs> oh my God, I'm hot. I gotta stop drinking. Y'all stupid. Man. I got some words of wisdom too, big boy. Well, go ahead, oh, okay. man. Go I'll ahead. bring back. Well, I'll no, bring no, back no. my ghostwriters. No, 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 no. Because you say one thing during this music session, he gonna try to kill yeah, you. Let him, let him right. Go for yeah. it. The great Rock Kim says. Okay, go ahead. He be pulling this microphone like he a rapper or R and B singer. Hey. He like, like he about to get a bro. I guess I know you want to leave. All you gotta do is do this pose like this. What is going on in here? I never want to see you like that again in life. You the get fucking, a little zesty. The bro. Teddy Pendergrass pulled you. Nigga, stop the, that. About to be on this album. The great Rock Kim says constant, constant elevation causes expansion. No cheese. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, man. There you go. Your words of wisdom for the week, man. Niggas Featuring oh. <laughs> Take us on out of here Oh shit yeah Tell a friend Tell a friend Then tell your mama We about this stuff. And your cousins too One Me And you Chris take oh, one more drink Before we get about here you. Hold on Am I empty Oh big gulp Big gulp